So we're coming up to the ranch. This was a homestead that was given from the King and Queen of Spain. We'll go up to the top part and we'll come around. I've been walking this land since when I was like three years old. Started walking. So this is part of my art. It's connected to me. This land is connected to my art. But to me, this is for life. You know what I mean? It's not like a weekend thing, you know? This is it. You know, when I'm not at my house, usually I'm up here. See, this one in here is all watered already. See how beautiful and green it is? So this is nice now, it looks good. I have the horses out here. I have two horses. And even if I didn't have horses, I, I like doing this. You know what I mean? This is, you gotta keep them ditches alive. Don't let them die. And then you gotta get rid of all these weeds that you don't want in the ditch. This is a smaller version of an acequia. It's all gravity fed. You know, these guys, these old guys, man, our ancestors were sharp. You know, everything just, they go with the flow. So it's all on the side of the mountain. So it'll flow down. This is all hand dug here, because there's no way to get vectors in there. You put the ditch on the top, on the high spot, so the water can flow to the bottom. So you just gotta clean it out. It will really flow, have a better flow. It's gonna be good, you'll have more, more water. So now it's gonna flow down. It'd be a little weird to have a ditch made out of uh, cement over here. That would throw off everything. You know, I'm too old-fashioned. Just, uh, I gotta keep things the way they are. We're just here for a while. We're just in borrowed time. You know, imagine be people before us and before them and, you know. My great-grandfather did these ditches and my, my grandfather maintained them and my dad maintained the ditches. Now it's my turn. Come to here, dog. I'll show you. You know, in the summer when it's really dry, there's no water flowing through the ditch, but there's a stream there. You gotta clean it up every once in a while. But it comes from the aquifers. The aquifers are the veins that run through the bottom of the land, way in the bottom. Water running on a ditch like this, it's even better than music. It's like singing to you. Agua es vida. Sin agua no hay nada. You know, when you hear water like this, it gives you hope that we're still here and we can still do something in this world. This is the 
other part of my place, uh, this place here is part of the Lovato grant. It was, uh, it's called a community grant. So my great grandfather had a place for the summer up in the mountains and then in the winter they come and live down here most of the time. But I'm looking for my babe now, I can't find her. You know, I called the shovel my babe because I had another shovel and I broke it. So, you know, once you have a shovel, you get used to the to that same shovel. Farmers know that. Now what I want to do is divert this water to this little ditch here. So here's where I open it. So this one, when the water comes in, I'll divert it in here. Getting nice and wet out here. So this water is all my beautiful grass. that take care of itself for a little bit and now uh, I'll show you what's going on in here so usually what I do I'm irrigating I come in here and I work for a, like half an hour and then I go outside let the water go you know I was running out of black so I uh, had a chimney out there and now uh, So we don't need no art supply store here, no retail. So here's some of the clay we got yesterday. This is what I use for the, to mix with my colors. This is a, this is a pigment. See how nice that color turns out to be? It's like a tone color. Well, I feel closer to my work, you know what I mean? It's nature, you know, it's natural colors, it comes from the earth. There's a big connection with the soil, with the plants. Some water in there, see, water again. We don't have water, we don't have nada. I go back and forth with rotating the art and then, the, and then I go back to the water. So it's a combination of both, I do both at once. Well, this is our conquistadora, the lady of the conquest of New Mexico. The oldest saint of New Mexico. Traditionally, she's not dressed in black, but I dress them in black. I do what I want. So here we are with the chimney stuff here. So, you know, my mom was a folk artist. She used to paint with chili clay she could whatever she found she loved glitter so it's like she never had to buy anything she just whatever she found she painted <laughs> saint francis that's saint francis right there you know i don't just read a book and then there's an idea you know it's mostly my work it's stuff that i've experienced in my life it's all heart, you know what I mean? It's the soul. Like the feeling of my daughter being born. The water in the fields. The land, the people. Our environment. The name of this piece is El uh, Mestizo. Mestizo means the different cultures. My uh, Mexican side, Spanish side, and the Indian side. They're going to battle, all of them. They've battled each other. Because life is not easy, it's, it's a hard life. 
This one here I did for a private chapel. I'm almost done with that. And usually when I do my pigment painting, I like to leave the sand in it. This color right in here. And here's some of the color that we picked up yesterday. I like it to be rough. I like it to be like a sand painting. And this here is my mom's chapel. Buried in the chapel. She wanted to be in here. I still remember my mom, she was standing out there on that side and and I asked her, you know, what what do you want to do, you know what I mean? Because she was real sick. She goes, I want to be right there. I want to be right by the studio. I want to be buried right there. And this one's a lot of the Santos here belong to my mom. She had to have it in her room where she used to pray. And here's this is an old tin piece here, a, a candelaria. They made out of old tin. Old tin cans. You know, my mom was a president of St. Anthony Society for 50 years. That's her right there with all the, the society. And there's no longer a society no more. Let me do a prayer for my mom. Jesucristo crucificado, hijo de la Virgen pura. El Padre ama al Hijo y el Espíritu Santo le responde con el manto con la Virgen Señora, la túnica de Cristo. Que nació de Santa María la Virgen, padeció de abajo del poder de Ponce Pilato. Fue crucificado y muerto sepultado, descendió a los infiernos y al tercer día resucitó entre los muertos. Subió a los cielos y está sentado a la derecha del Padre Todopoderoso. Creo que va a venir a gustar a los vivos y los muertos. Creo en el Espíritu Santo, la Santa Madre, Iglesia Católica, Apostólica Romana. La comunión de los santos, el perdón de los pecados. Que amen de la sangre y la carne pudable. Amén. Ay Dios, ay Dios, no hay padre como Dios, ni madre como María. Ni ángel de la guarda, ni luz tan clara como la del día. Vos toco en la misión las puertas de mi quemencia. Penitencia, penitencia, buscando mi salvación. Descansa en paz, mamá. Gracias por todo lo que me has hecho y has dado por mí. Y descanse Pedro Herrera, mi papá y mis antes pasados por darme el talento que tengo aquí hoy. Thank you, dear Lord, for giving me the faith, the love, and the knowledge for the land. Amen. So here we go again with the earth. We come into the earth and we'll go back to the earth. That's just the way it is. Yeah.